Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Today I bring you a box roulette battle against Bolts and Bombers who trounced, yes, trounced me in an OU battle not very long ago. Um, but we're doing box roulette now, and interestingly enough, this is actually a great segue battle for the next battle that I'll be uploading, which is my first UU battle, because two of the Pokémon that are on this team, on my version of this team, my team, rather, uh, are Pokémon that ended up on my UU team. That would be my Galvantula and my Metagross. Um, so, looking at his team, looking at my team, I'm relieved. It looks like our teams are somewhat balanced. Uh, that's a very big risk when you do box roulette. If you have a, t if you have a whole bunch of teams across a whole bunch of tiers, and your opponent only has OU Pokemon, maybe some UU, then it's not really a fair match. Um, but here, you know, I'd say his Pokemon are on the median, uh, higher tiered than mine, or higher power than mine. But I do have the Mega Charizard X, and I think I feel like that balances things out. So. He let off with his Ambipom. He could have been going for a knockoff, but I figure maybe he probably wasn't, so I go out and set out Uchikoma here on the Switch. And here he could have gone for the knockoff, but I, he didn't, so that was nice. I go ahead and set up Rocks here, because looking at his team, I'm thinking he's going to be doing a fair amount of switching. Jirachi usually runs Scarf. Uh, Cloudster usually runs Specs. And he does have a Pokémon that's weak to uh, Rocks, so figure it should be a decent strategy to set up rocks. So he goes ahead and U-turns out right here, goes out into Scolipede, who's going to take those rocks, and that's going to be nice. I just went for the safe Earthquake, because actually Earthquake hits every single member of his team. Uh, half of them, well not half of them, but a good portion of them, a third of them, for super effective damage. Uh, don't actually get the KO against Scolipede, but it gets so close that I can take it out with a bullet punch, which is nice. Now I don't have to worry about this thing setting up spikes. Uh, because I don't have a spinner, so that's nice. Skullpete is down, and I am a happy camper. So Uchikoma's taking a lot of damage from that Life Orb, and this is a problem that I have when I play with it in UU too, but uh, there's really no way around it. So I'm predicting here a Dark Pulse. I'm predicting the Dark Pulse, so I'm going to switch out, and I switch out into my Rotom Frost. This was a really bad move, because he went for the Aura Sphere, and you know, it's not like they would have resisted the Dark Pulse. Um, but Tachikoma is good death fodder anyway, because it's not like I'm running a Hail Team. This thing's actually running Specs. Uh, yeah, so it wasn't the best move, and I lost a Pokemon needlessly, but it's fine. Uh, I don't think he's running Scarfed, and that's the only way that he would be able to outrun me, so I just go for the... I, I figure I can just go for the Thunder. He goes out into Manetric, and I wasn't gonna go for the Thunder because of Manetric. I went for the safe Sticky Web, and that's nice because all of his Pokemon are grounded, they're all gonna be now slow, and that's excellent. Predicting, so here I make, uh, I go out into Fraggle, my uh, Zuelus, predicting the Flamethrower. He goes ahead and Mega Evolves, that's expected. Uh, Gardevoir could have also been the Mega. In fact, considering this is Box Roulette, it very well could also be a Mega. Um, yeah, I, I, when I do my generation of Pokemon for Box Roulette, I always make sure that I only get one Mega. Um, but it didn't have to do it this time, opponent. I uh, didn't have to do it this time, Bolts and Bombers. Uh, but just anyone in the future who's challenging me to Box Roulette, if you get two Megas, it's totes fine if you want to switch one of them out, or rather generate another random number. I do the same if I get two Pokemon who are the same species, because I have so many builds of so many of these Pokemon. So, Cloudsurf versus Zoilus. Uh, I think I'm running Eviolite Zoilus, although I can't remember. I go for the Crunch. Uh, I, I think I had a Bandit set at one point. Um, it does a massive amount of damage. <clears throat> gonna want to switch out here, not gonna want to take the Aura Sphere. So I go out into Hugabug. Hugabug should be fine. Uh, he goes for the Ice Beam, just hedging his bets. It was a good move. Um, and gets me down really low. So I'm thinking, he doesn't have the uh, Aqua Jet, does he? And he doesn't have the Aqua Jet, thank god. And I do manage to take out Cloudster, who is kind of the biggest threat on his team. I don't know that that's true. He's got lots of threats on his team. But now I've taken out two of his Pokemon, so that's nice. Out now is going to come Jirachi. I am predicting this thing to be Scarfed, but Galvantula is at such low HP, uh, I don't really care. Oh, also the Sticky Web is nice, so I will actually outspeed. So I go for the Thunder. I go for the Thunder, and I'm hoping to take it out. Well, I'm not going to take it out. I'm hoping to get the Paralysis on it, actually, um, just in case he's actually running a more defensive set. He U-turns out. It is going to KO Hugabug. Hugabug did work in this battle. I am very pleased. Got a KO. Got the Stecky Web up. No complaints on my end at all. So now out is going to come Minetric, and as much as I'm regretting doing it, I don't really see another choice but to send out... Um, 
my uh, Charizard X. So it's not, now it's just Charizard. Oh, no, wait, I go out into Uchikoma first. Right, because I'm thinking after the sticky web, I might be able to outspeed. I don't. Yeah, I don't. So he takes me out with a, a flamethrower, and now my back's kind of more against the wall, and now I feel better sending out Charizard, uh, even though this uh, this thing's gonna get banned. I'm I'm pretty confident that once uh, Smogon tests it, they'll ban it. Um, I don't know about Charizard Y. I haven't really used Charizard Y in singles or encountered it much in singles. Um, yeah. Anyway, he goes for the T-Bolt, uh, probably the best move to do, at least it's neutral. Um, uh, he gets a crit, so that crit is uh, something. Uh, I go for... Yeah, I think he didn't get the para, right? So I go ahead and Dragon Dance because I figure uh, my only hope at this point, given the Pokemon that I have left, is to actually sweep him. So I've got to go for the Dragon Dance. Now I can just go for uh, the Dragon Claw. He does have Gardevoir, could have switched out into Gardevoir, but if that had been the case, that would have been fine. It's not like I would have... It's not like there's any recoil or any downside, really, unless it's Scarf Gardevoir. The Scarf Gardevoir, I think I out... Well, I do outspeed, thanks to Dragon Dance and thanks to the Sticky Web. So he goes ahead and fakes me out here. That's fine. Um, I figure... So I'm going to need some HP to deal with uh, the remaining two Pokemon on this team who both resist Dragon Claw or are immune to Dragon Claw. Um, but, yeah, I really should be roosting at some point, but I just didn't want to screw around. Um, I don't know when I'm actually gonna have time to roost. Uh, I actually have decided to roost here. I'm not. I do the calc, and I don't think Gardevoir can kill me. I really don't. So Trace's tough claws. Uh, not that it really. Well, it does actually matter because he's not gonna mega. So uh, I go ahead and roost here. Gonna get it back up to very close to full HP uh, as my opponent goes for Psy Shock. Uh, yeah, Gardevoir doesn't actually run any moves that would have been super effective. Not that I can think of, at least. Uh, so I go for Flare Blitz here, and I, I because the way the recovery is working, I don't want to screw around with the crit. Uh, I get a crit, but I guarantee you uh, that crit didn't matter, considering I am a plus one. I am a freaking Charizard X. Uh, yeah, it, was, it wasn't going to be an issue. Now, Jirachi is my opponent's final Pokemon. Uh, I am going to be able to easily take it out with a Flare Blitz. The only question today is whether I take out myself with a Flare Blitz as well. Uh, so, drum roll, please. Here comes the Flare Blitz. I take out the Jirachi. Jirachi is now corpsified and dead, and I survive on six. So this is a 6-3 or a 0-3 victory for me. Uh, great game, Bolts and Bombers. You beat me where it counts, where it's like an actual tier. So um, this was just a nice little uh, resolution for me. So long, folks.